It's an emotive and highly personal issue. The arguments over abortion divide political parties, and over the years they've brought protesters onto the streets. The new Health Secretary, Jeremy Hunt, has told The Times that he personally believes the time limit for abortion should be halved. He said there's an incredibly difficult question about the moment we should deem life to start. Everyone looks at the evidence and comes to a view about when that moment is. And my own view is that 12 weeks is the right point for it. At the moment, abortion is legal in England, Scotland and Wales up until 24 weeks of pregnancy. The latest figures show there were just under 190,000 abortions for women living in England and Wales last year. But most abortions, 91% of them, are carried out before 13 weeks. Some experts who give advice on unwanted pregnancy point out that it's often very vulnerable women who seek later abortions. They are a small number of women, but they are no less deserving of care than women who present earlier to services. And I think it's extremely important that the Health Secretary recognises that the reality and needs of, of women's lives and that women will need access to later care. David Cameron was out meeting nurses today, keen to highlight his commitment to the NHS and how the government has protected the health service budget. But he was forced to respond to the abortion debate and made it clear he disagreed with his health secretary. Members of parliament vote according to their conscience. I personally have voted for a modest reduction from the current limit of 24 weeks because I think there are some medical arguments for that. But I don't agree with a 12-week limit and that's not the government's policy. Jeremy Hunt's intervention in this controversial area will be welcomed by many Conservatives gathering here for their party conference. Although the government has no plans to change the law, there are many backbenchers who would like to try and force a vote on the issue. Vicky Young, BBC News, Birmingham.